Hi guys, it's Maureen from Morsey Creations. Um, jumping on the geode painting bandwagon. Um, everyone knows that I love my crystals. Uh, so here I am doing something a bit different. My previous geodes have been done with resin. Um, with this one I wanted to see what would happen if I did an acrylic pour first. Um, as you can see I am using my colours and I'm filling up my cup, layering my colours, that's called a dirty pour. Um, and I'm going to flip the cup and just see what the colours want to do. So I've flipped the cup and I'm thinking, <laughs> I like to give the paint some time to settle at the bottom of the cup. And um, for some reason I've decided to add some more paint. <laughs> Flip it. From memory, I don't think I added any silicone or alcohol. Um, I just wanted to, I didn't really want any big cells or anything. I just wanted like an organic kind of flow. That's me using the, my big torch. I'm a bit, I'm a bit scared of using my big torch. Usually I use a heat gun, but I'm working outside mm -hmm. on my veranda. I think I washed my hair that morning, so you, you'll probably see me wearing my hair turban. <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm picking out of the painting. I must have seen some lumps. God knows what that was. <laughs> Touching up edges. Wiping my hands. You really should be wearing gloves. But from memory I couldn't be bothered. So now I'm just kind of looking at it and thinking, you know, where does it seem natural to start adding some things? So I'm adding some mirror chips at the moment. And some glitter. I'm just kind of following the organic lines. And that's how it turned out after the first sitting. Stay tuned. Um, I've just finished another painting and I've got some leftover resin, so I'm going to see what I can do with this. So this time I'm going to be adding the glitter directly to my resin. I think that resin, just from memory, I think that resin was already coloured from the previous painting. I think it was like a green or a teal colour. Um, so on second thoughts, I don't know, you know, <laughs> how wise it is to be adding glitter to coloured pigment. But we'll see. So again, I'm just sort of looking at it thinking, where is it? Does it feel natural to, to add some more lines? 
just following the natural flow of what's already there. I'm probably using Mastercast 121. Um, I've got a few different resins. I've got, I've got art resin and um, I've also got Ultracast. Um, so it depends what I was doing before this. Um, if I was doing pea trees, I would have been using art resin, but then again, it wouldn't have been pigmented. I would have been using alcohol inks. So it's probably Mastercast. Thinking, thinking, what to do next? I thought I was done and then for some reason I thought I'd come back with some gold. I might speed it up a tad.
So this is layer two, the end of the second sitting. After this, um, I put a clear layer of resin over it. So I'm not gonna show you that bit. So I'm back. Um, like I said, um, I had some leftover resin from a previous, from a different painting and um, decided to do a clear coat of resin over the whole thing. So I didn't show you that bit. So I've come back, I don't know, a day later and decided that it was time to put the fine details in. So I'm using Posca pens. I've got a green color and a silver color. And again, just following the lines. I'm sitting by my water feature, so um, I'm gonna leave the sound on and you can hear the water feature, but it's sped up. These Posca pens require a lot of shaking. shaking. <laughs> Had to pause the video and come back once I'd, I'd think I was done shaking my Posca pen.
So here it is. Hope you like it. I had a lot of fun making it, although it took a, it took me about three weeks between uh, the first layer and the and the last layer, because I've been moving house and unpacking and going on camp with forty one kids and so on and so forth. Um, but I'm glad it's done, and um, I hope it was helpful. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, um, and I'll, you'll get notifications on when I've made more videos. Catch you later. Bye.